One beauty about mathematics, it gives us that privilege to use different methodologies for the same problems. Do not say that this is not how your teacher taught you, but I want you to compare the two methodologies and pick the one that has more simplicity. The derivative of an exponential function is equal to the exponential of that function times the derivative of the function. The derivative of log of a function with a base a is equal to 1 over natural log of the base a multiplied by 1 over the function multiplied by the derivative of that function. The exponential to the natural log of a function is the same thing as the function. I'll prove this for you. Suppose this natural log of a function f of x is equal to u and you know that natural log is a logarithm to the base e. So we can say this is the same thing as log of the function to the base e. Then from definition of logarithm, this function is the same thing as the exponential to the power of u. So exponential u is going to give us f of x. But you know that u is natural log of this function. So exponential of ln f of x is the same thing as f of x. If y equals to exponential x, dy over dx will be equal to exponential x times the derivative of that function. I you know that the derivative of x is 1, so 1 times exponential x is the same thing as exponential x. Suppose y equals exponential 2x, dy over dx will be equal to the exponential 2x multiplied by the derivative of that function which is 2x. And you know that the derivative of uh, 2x is going to be 2, exponential 2x times 2, which is the same thing as 2 exponential 2x. Sometimes the base might not be a function. If y equals to 2 to the power of x, this time around the base is a number while the power is a function. So how do we go about this one? We can introduce exponential ln, which is the same thing as 1. If you multiply the right hand side with exponential natural logarithm, it will not change the function. So y can be exponential natural log of 2 power x. Let u equals to this natural log of 2 power x. Now you can bring the power down, it's a law of logarithm, u is equal to x ln 2. Now we can differentiate u with respect to x, du over dx is going to be ln 2 times the derivative of x. You are going to treat this one as a constant because it does not contain any x. So the derivative of x is 1 times this is going to give us natural log of 2. Then you know y is equal to from here. We have substituted this as u. It is going to be exponential u. dy over du is still going to be exponential u. To obtain the derivative of y with respect to x, we are going to multiply du over dx times dy over du. So finally, dy over dx is going to be exponential u multiplied by natural logarithm of 2. And you know that u is natural log of 2 power x. So we have exponential natural log of 2 power x times ln 2. But this cancel this as I told you is the same thing as 1. So finally we obtain 2 power x ln 2. This is the derivative of y 
equals to 2 to the power of x. If y equals to x power x, how do we go about this? We apply the same principle. y can now be equals to exponential ln x power x. You let u to be equal to this. Let u equals to ln x power x. u is going to be x ln x. Then we differentiate u with respect to x. du over dx. You apply product rule here. We keep x constant. We are going to differentiate ln x. And ln x is going to be 1 over x. Plus, we keep this constant ln x. Then we differentiate this. And if, if you differentiate x, you are going to get 1. And this time, this is the same thing as 1 plus ln x. So y is going to be exponential u. dy over du is equal to exponential u. It will not change. To obtain the derivative of y with respect to x, we are going to multiply this with this. So dy over dx is going to be exponential u multiplied by 1 plus ln x. This is the same thing as exponential u if you expand this bracket plus exponential u ln x. But you know that u is equal to ln x power x. So this is equal to exponential ln x power x plus exponential ln x power x multiplied by ln x. This is the same thing as 1. We end up having x power x plus x power x ln ln x. So this is the derivative of x power x.